What's up you guys? CC back with another video and for today's video we're going to do a full and complete handbag collection. <laughs> guys Cece here and if it's your first time watching hello make sure you go ahead do me a favor click that subscribe button and also the notification bell because you never want to miss a single upload such as this one so as I already said today we're going to do a handbag collection slash kind of handbag declutter I feel like I'm in a good space with my handbags I don't feel like I will be purchasing any new handbags this year I mean, never say never, but I don't feel like I'm gonna be purchasing any more. So I thought now was good a time as any to do a collection video. You guys have been asking for this video, so here you go, all right? I don't have a bunch of designer handbags. My handbags really range in price. I have a few designer handbags, but most of them are honestly more inexpensive handbags. I just, I don't feel the need to continuously splurge on luxury handbags just because they're so expensive now don't get me wrong i love me a good luxury handbag and i will be purchasing more in the future but i don't need to have my entire collection just a range of luxury handbags i have so many good inexpensive handbags so i'm going to show them to you today i will try to link as many of them as available as possible in the description box but this is my handbag collection and let's just get into it Okay, the first set of bags I want to show you guys are these up here. And these are basically just like my fanny packs and things like that that I absolutely love. I probably carry a fanny pack most of the time. And lately it has been this guy right here. This is my Lululemon and you guys. When I tell you I am totally obsessed with this, I think this is the everywhere belt bag or something like that. This bag is just so cute and so versatile and it carries like so much. I didn't think it would carry this much stuff, but it really carries a lot in this guy and I wear it like all the time. There is an Amazon dupe that I found if you can't find this one in stock so I'll try to remember to link that below as well but it was like it's like a spot on dupe honestly I also have just some Nike fanny packs because I love Nike so I have this like olive green one which I know you guys have seen if you've been following me for a minute because I've worn it so many times I have this gray one and it has like the kind of holographic Nike sign. And then I have this fanny pack as well, which is just a brown like faux leather. I got this one from Target and I thought it was really cute. I got this one last season, last year, um, but I'm keeping all of those because I really, really love those. All right, let's come down a tad to this row right here. This is probably my favorite row at the moment. This is kind of my luxury bag row. So I told you guys I don't have a lot of luxury bags. So this is kind of where I just house them all. And you might not even call all of these luxury, but you know what? You do you, I do me, okay? So first one we have here is, this is the mini pochette. This is a newer purchase. I unboxed this uh, like a couple of months ago. I have stuff in it, so there's like, I've been using it. So there's money in it, there's a pen, there is lip balm, all types of stuff in here. But um, yeah, this mini pochette, I don't wear it on its own. Well, I haven't yet. I just kind of keep it tucked inside of one of my other bags and I use it as like just a mini catch all for whatever. I got this from Poshmark. I found it pre-loved and I'm so happy that I did. There's a few like nicks and dings on the, um, on the leather here and then also on the zipper but it's nothing too crazy it's like normal wear and tear and i found it for such a great price like half the price of the original price so i love that so much the next two here are these guys this is my what do you call this just the um the wristlet that comes with the neverfull y'all i carry this thing so much i carry this more than the actual neverfulls to be quite honest this is like 
this is the reason for the Neverfull right here. Like without this, I feel like the Neverfull wouldn't be as good to me, but I love that one. And then this is another purchase from this year. I think I, this is why Mark said I'm at my like designer bag limit this year, okay? Because I did do a lot of, well, a lot for me, designer bag shopping. And so this is the YSL. This is just meant to be a wristlet. However, I bought this chain from Amazon and I just stuck it on here and it looks so good and I can carry it as a really cute little crossbody and I love this guy. It looks it looks really good. When we're going somewhere, I just put on a cute dress and I can wear it as a clutch under the arm or I can use the chain with it. Okay, all the way in the back, which you guys can probably see, I'm not gonna pull it out. It's the Louis Vuitton MM Neverfull. That was my first designer bag. I, did I unbox that on camera like years ago? In like 2016, that was my first designer bag and I didn't get another one for a long time. But that has just been a staple of mine. I love it so much. It's one of those iconic Louis Vuitton bags. Like, yes, my husband bought it for me for Christmas and I was like forever in his debt, I swear. But um, the next one, this is my newest baby. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I um, picked this up when I was in Chicago a couple of months ago. I did a full unboxing and this has been my baby. I have been wearing this bag out so much. It is just so beautiful. It's everything I thought it would be. I love the reverse monogram canvas print. So they have it in the regular monogram or so you can get it all like this print or they have it in the two-tone, the reverse monogram. And I have been searching for this for so long. I finally found it in Chicago a couple of months ago and I was, I've been obsessed. Like it just goes with everything. It's more of a casual bag to me. So I love just wearing it like when I'm running errands or something like that. And it just, it, it kind of elevates that casual look a bit and just makes it look so chic. It has the adjustable strap. I just keep it on the shortest strap, but it has the adjustable strap if you're taller. And this bag, you just don't, you can't go wrong with this one. Like this is my baby. You cannot go wrong with this bag. I'm gonna skip over these two really quick cause we're gonna talk about them and we're gonna move into our coach tabby. This is another one that I just am obsessed with. I feel like coach has really been hitting the mark lately and this was like the start of noticing coach again for me so coach i really fell off in my book and i feel like this was really the start of just them coming back around for me in my opinion so this is the coach pillow tabby this bag was everything last year was it last year or the year before i think it was last year and so i picked it up again i got this chain from amazon just to kind of amp it up a little bit and this is such a great bag for the spring and the summertime even if you're wearing like a winter white outfit you can wear this in the winter time as well comes in all different colors and I just thought this was so pretty I don't have another bag this color and this was just the perfect addition to my collection last year okay let's talk about these two right here so if you guys watched my previous my last get ready with me then you would have saw me talk about these two bags these are replica bags right so they're one for one replica bags I'm not sure if YouTube allows us to link these so um, they should be linked in my stories on Instagram but these are one-to-one -one replica bags and they are pretty damn close to the original you guys I have done extensive like research and just looking at the original bag versus this guy and I swear to God you cannot tell the difference of course if you take it to an authenticator they could but if you're just walking up the street nobody knows what bag you have on your arm I swear I have been obsessed with this little mini speedy and I've been wearing it like every single day for the last few weeks this is the replica speedy 20 and this was like the next bag that was on my wish list from louis vuitton and i swear to god i don't have to like i'm not buying it now because i have this guy right here it is just so well made and the material literally feels luxury not to mention if you're buying leather from louis vuitton like instead of the canvas the canvas print if you buy the leather print like this it's gonna run you like an extra five six hundred dollars and they're having price increases like every other month honey Honey, 
this is beautiful and I've been wearing it so much. So if you see me walking down the street with my Speedy 20, you keep your mouth shut, okay? You mind your business, I mind mine, all right? So same deal with this guy here. This is a large YSL, I think it's the envelope clutch. I'll, I can't remember what exactly it's called, but I think it's the envelope clutch, but this is another replica. When I tell you this is so well made and it feels so good and so luxury and it is like an exact. When I say exact, I mean exact replica. And it just, it looks good, it feels good. This bag just feels ultra luxurious. I love it in the all black. It's super large too, so it'll hold whatever you need. And it's like such a cute shoulder bag. You can wear it while shopping. And I, like, I just, I love this bag. Love it so much and I feel like it's gonna get a lot of use out of me this winter like honestly it's so so pretty okay let's move down to this row right here now i wear the stuff on this row a lot but this is probably the row that gets the most use from me and you guys are probably like you have luxury bags they don't get the most use they get a lot of use but this row here this is where like this is me right here okay living in the target range this is me i'm i'm just going to be honest with you i'm not a full luxury girl at heart i love my luxury purchases don't get me wrong but honestly Honestly, I'm not a full luxury girl at heart I am I'm somewhere in this in this target range I'm moving up to this range but I'm somewhere in the target range okay so let's start here this is a bag straight from Target um, I wore it a few times this summer I actually didn't get as much wear out of it as I wanted to but I definitely will be keeping this and wearing it for next season next spring and summer this is just such a beautiful bag and I felt like it's just so soft and kind of luxurious feeling right so this was a $30 bag I love the chain detail the quilted detail and it's such a large bag so you can fit anything you need and it was just so beautiful I saw this at Target especially this color I have nothing this color and so I saw this and I was like, this will be so cute with just like some jeans and a white shirt, like a white crop top or something like this is everything. So I did wear this a few times this summer, but I'll definitely be keeping it and wearing it next year too. Okay, so this little guy I've been debating about. I don't know if I should keep this or give this to my daughter. Like I have nothing else, this cute little green color. And I just feel like the minute I give it to my daughter, one, I feel like she's not gonna take care of it. And then two, I feel like the minute I give it to her, I'm gonna find the right outfit and I'm gonna be like, I needed that mini green bag to go with it, right? So I think I'm gonna keep this one just a little bit longer, um, especially until she knows how to take care of stuff and then I can go back and borrow it later. But this is so pretty. It's from a brand called Simbono. I worked with them in the past and um, I just really loved their bags. And so I thought this was so, so, so freaking cute. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep it for now because I feel like this little green color, you can find a use for this little green color. Let's pull out a few more of these. This is a bag that I got from Just Fab like years ago. And I don't know why I've been holding on to it because it's really... It's really not my style, and so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I just don't need it, I don't wear it. I don't think I've ever worn this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one here. But this bag I'm keeping. This is my little Bottega dupe. I got this one from Amazon and I love the yellow. It also comes with the chain strap, but I never wear it with the chain strap. I only wear it like this. And this bag, I feel like it's so versatile and it's just so pretty. So we're gonna keep that one. I also have these three. This is another bag from Symphono. This is the company that made the little green bag. I never wear this one, so I am gonna let this one go. I thought the detailing on it was really cute. That's why I've been holding on to it, but I'm never gonna wear it. I also have these two, and I think I'm gonna let these two go as well. This one is a Michael Kors, and it I, I'm not normally into Michael Kors, but I thought this color was just really, really pretty. This nice orange color for the fall, but I just never find myself reaching for it, especially since I have like brown and cognac color bags. I never find myself reaching for this color, so I'm gonna let this one go 
also along with this little coach you guys mark the only, the reason i keep this and it kind of pains i don't know if i'm gonna give it away yet i gotta think about it the reason i keep this is because mark bought me this little coach bag um back before we had any money y'all we had nothing and he spent like 150 200 dollars on this little coach bag for me for valentine's day and i just thought it was so sweet and i think the bag is really like cute and mini i just i never find myself reaching for it unfortunately it's more of like a spring summer bag and i just always forget that i have it and i don't know it's not an ugly bag i actually think it's really cute i just never reach for it and so I don't know. I, I might have to keep this one for sentimental reasons. But yeah, he bought me this, y'all. Okay, let's move into these two right here. This is just a little like backpack. Um, I would wear this sometimes when I go shopping and I'll have my camera and all types of stuff in here. I haven't worn it lately, so I don't know if it's worth keeping. I'll keep it for now, but I like the mini backpack. Um, yeah. I like this guy, so I'll keep it for now. Maybe I'll give it to one of my daughters um, if I don't end up wearing it in the next few months. But there's that one. And then there's this bag that I wore a lot when I was going to work. I would, you know, put my planner in it, my wallet and everything, and it just fit everything I needed it to fit. And um, yeah, this was definitely like my, one of my favorite little work totes when I wasn't toting back and forth my laptop. But since I don't go to work anymore, um, I don't know that it really makes sense to keep this bag because I have other work totes. So I, I, I think I'm, I, I think I'm gonna have to let this one go. I don't know. Should I keep this one? I could always just put. Mm, I'm on the fence about it. We'll talk about it. And then these two guys, these are just little like toiletry pouches for when I go, I go um, traveling. So that's what that is. Let's come down to our final row on this side. I have some really cute ones here. So first one we have is this guy from Telfar. To be quite honest, you guys, I haven't really, I haven't really gotten into this one because I don't really know where it's appropriate to wear it or when it's appropriate to wear it I feel like for my casual days when I'm going out I mean I'll just throw on the Louis or something like that I'll pick it up I've been using this little speedy and I've been just picking it up and going I feel like this guy one is so small two I don't like the strap so if I'm gonna carry it I want to carry it like this but the straps are not removable and which means they take up space on the inside there's already not enough space on the inside for me and so I just have a hard time figuring out how to carry this always happy to support a black owned brand i just me and this guy just i just haven't really figured out how to wear it i've worn it like once or twice and um, there's that all right let's move on to my brandon blackwoods absolutely love these trunk bags these i don't wear them all the time but Honey, there is a time and a place for these. And when you pull them out, baby, baby, you step out, okay? This cognac color is everything. I feel like this one here is the perfect size. So I have the mini trunk and then I have the regular size trunk. The mini trunk, it doesn't fit my cell phone. So I do have to hold my cell phone on the side. But baby, when you step out with this guy, like it's just so pretty, so chic. This this guy's everything. And then I have, the, like I said, the regular cognac color. This one does fit my cell phone. It'll fit my GoPro and my wallet. This one really fits everything I need and it's so nice. This one, I just wish it was bigger, but I got my hands on it when I could. You guys know they sell out so fast. So I was so excited about that, but this, these bags are just so cute. Let's pull out her. We get to the bucket bags. So I just bought this little cute little mini Tory Burch bucket bag. Love this bag so much. It's so cute and so mini. And it just goes with every outfit. This is like that perfect jeans and t-shirt throw on a bag purse i mean it's so pretty of, of course it's really tiny so it doesn't fit too too much however i find it to be perfect when i'm just going out and running errands and i just need a bag wish it was a little bigger but 
I do love this guy. Now, when I do need a bigger bucket bag, I do have the option of my coach. I have this in like the olive green color. This is perfect for winter. I think I lived in this bag last winter because it just fit everything you need. It was so perfect just to have a bucket bag this size to throw all your stuff in. Like, of course, we all need one of these. And then I have this little bucket bag too, which I never even used. I forgot I had it all spring and summer, of course. But this is one from Target by the brand Universal Thread. I haven't even taken the tag off of it, but the color and the texture of it is just so pretty. And we will be keeping this for next spring and summer. Okay, so I did have some handbags that were sitting on the other side of my closet that I want to show you guys, all right? First one being this guy. I've had this for so long. I don't even know why I keep this because what can you actually keep in a flat bag like this? Only your wallet and one like lip gloss and that's really it. You can't really keep anything in a flat little clutch like this. I mean, I think it's cute. It has the silver hardware. I have just never found a place that I wanted to wear this bag. I got it from Aldo and I wore it years ago, but um, I don't wear it anymore. So that's definitely one that we can get rid of. I have this guy here from Kate Spade. This is another one that I just thought was so cute. It's like one of those really cute like camera shoulder bags and it had like the different colors but I feel like obviously if you just have one again jeans and a white tee or something like that you could definitely wear this but I don't find myself ever reaching for this like literally ever 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 so i am just going to let this one go um someone else could probably put it to better use than me okay now this bag so cute i got this one earlier this year and it's like a designer inspired bag sorry i have both hands full but this is like a designer inspired bag i got this one from amazon and the color is everything i have nothing this color no bags and so i just thought this one was definitely a keeper and one that i wanted to have i wore it to a wedding in april when we were in arizona and i've been obsessed with it so we're keeping her I have this Marc Jacobs. This is another one of those like little camera bags. It, it doesn't hold very much, but I do love this little Marc Jacobs bag. I just, I don't find myself reaching for it. And I try to be honest with myself as I go through these declutters, as you guys know, even when it comes to clothes, shoes, and handbags, and I really don't find myself reaching for this the way I would like to if I'm going to keep it. I mean, I have other black bags and neutral bags with gold hardware that I wear more. So this one's going to go as well. One of those black bags is this one. So going back to replica bags, I actually worked with a company in like 2020 for this bag. This is a Gucci marmount replica and so yeah i worked with that company in 2020 for this bag and it ho is holding up so well you could definitely see some wear and tear in the hardware and like yeah you can definitely see some wear and tear in the gold hardware but i mean for the most part the bag feels really good it looks really good and baby if you in the dark and you just moving around ain't nobody like gonna be checking your bag like that and if they are why are they ask that question you know why are they okay tell them to mind their business this is gucci for all they know and and that's it so I, I wear this one um quite often i haven't worn it recently but i wear it quite often so we're keeping her and then you guys recently i actually found this on amazon and this is another bag that i had my eye on but i didn't want to pay for it because it was like canvas material like it was that canvas material and it's this prada bag um like i said it has that like canvas material and i was like that is a waste of money to pay over a thousand dollars for a bag with that material i just i didn't like it i didn't like it at all so it's this one with the little you know with the little pocket here and it's it's that material like why would you why why are we paying over a thousand dollars for this i don't know but amazon had like 
a little replica. I don't know what that bag actually looks like and how good this replica is. I haven't done my research yet, but I will do my research um, and see if this is close. I, I mean, I don't know, looks good to me, but look i know i know um no designer bag connoisseur all right but there's that guy <sighs> this little purple bag messenger bag i would wear it to work sometimes but now that i look at it it's really ugly and i don't like it so she goes and then the last two bags that i have are these two guys and they are my Marc Jacobs tote bags. So I have the mini tote and I have the regular size tote. The regular size tote is too big to do anything with. I never, ever, ever wear this unless I'm traveling. So when I did go to Chicago last month or two months ago, I wore this and it was great because I was able to put my laptop in it, my notebooks, my pens, everything that I needed for the day for my meetings, I was able to put in this and it's great for travel. You can also use your Neverfull for that too though but the Neverfull does not have a long strap. The nice thing about that one is that it has a long strap. Um, yeah, that's what was nice about that. And then my mini tote, I wear this all the time because this is just bag heaven, okay? This is bag royalty. The color is everything. The leather is super soft. I mean, it has a long strap if you want a long strap, a long removable strap. If you don't want that strap, that's fine. This fits so much. It fits my my 11 inch, is it 11? 11 point something inch iPad. It fits notebooks. It fits th like everything you need to fit in this bag. You can fit it in this bag. It is just great. It is my buddy. I love this bag and I do not regret this purchase at all. All right, you guys, so that is it. Those are all of my handbags. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I told you it wasn't gonna be like super luxury, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to make. And like I said, I think I've hit my handbag allowance for the year. So I don't think I'll be purchasing any more. If I do, of course, I'll keep you guys updated. But I think I'm good on handbags for the year. I have a great collection. I think my collection is perfect. I think it suits me. It says CC. I don't have anything too off the wall because CC isn't too off the wall, right? So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And I will try to link everything down below for you guys as well. I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Channel, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.